everyone. I'm Rhonda with the Stitch and Time Embroidery Designs and welcome to our Mylar Embroidery Design Tutorial video. And today we are going to be stitching out this cute little Mylar sunflower that my son Jonathan digitized. Now if you've never used a Mylar design before, you're in for quite a treat because you're going to be able to stitch out a beautiful embroidery design. Let me see if I can get to see. See how it's shimmery? really shimmery and shiny and it's great because you can skip the metallic thread and use mylar embroidery designs instead now you do need a design that was specifically digitized for use with mylar and that's because all of the fail stitching in this design has a uh, a different density than a regular embroidery design and you can see through it it's really light and airy you can see through it to the white fabric underneath so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stitch this out it's a quick little design we did just for this video it's gonna stitch a placement stitch to show you where the mylar goes and then we're gonna take a piece of mylar and place it right over the placement stitch and tape it down because this stuff is slippery it kind of flies away I've lost a couple of pieces just trying to film this video already so we're going to tape it down on the edges and then the machine's going to come back and stitch down a tack down stitch to help hold it in place in addition to the tape because we don't want it flying off then the design is going to stitch right on top of it I'll show you what it looks like when it's going to come off the machine it's going to stitch right on top of that mylar and then we're going to come back to the cutting table and remove the excess mylar now there are embroidery designs available on our website that stitch a little bit differently than this one this one kind of has really detailed edges where um, if we were to do it like a regular applique design that would be a lot a little cutting and yes we can do it on the scanning cut but not everyone has one so we do have some mylar designs that have a smoother edge where we did them like a regular applique and you can put white fabric just underneath there with mylar on top and that way you can stitch it out on a darker color fabric maybe a denim jacket or a, you know a blue t-shirt or something instead of white but if you're going to use one of the designs with the detailed edges that does not have white fabric to go underneath it like an applique then you're going to want to stitch it on white or a really light color fabric to get the true colors um, in the embroidery design if you stitch it on something a little darker it is going to look different because the background fabric is going to show through some so it's going to change what you see a little bit as far as colors go so um, let me tell you a little bit about mylar because maybe you've only heard of it in balloons and stuff but this is not the same stuff this is really really thin kind of a plastic with an iridescent sheen to it you can see through it and the iridescent part of it is what makes all the threads really pick up and shine and look great um, you can get it on Amazon this pack has three uh, sheets in it that are 18 inches by 30 inches I got it on Amazon it's called purely gates p-u-r-e-l-y gates uh, mylar for embroidery you can wash it dry it iron it not like this you want to wait till you have a design stitched on top of it to iron it um, doesn't work without it but I have washed it dried it ironed it in fact right now I am kind of experimenting with a t-shirt because I have stitched on t-shirts before but I'm curious to see how many times can I wash it before it looks any different and so far I've washed it quite a bit without it looking any different at all it still is beautiful but I'm going to continue to do that in the months I've had just to see how long it lasts or if it ever goes away I really like the look of it so we're using it on more and more things in here so you can get this from Amazon I will put the link below for that or you can get if you want to really get into mylar designs and do a lot of them John Deere sells this on his website it's a roll this roll actually contains 20 18 by 30 inch sheets so I'll put the link for that down below too along with the link to my website where you can find this design you can download it and stitch right along with us if you want to and try your first mylar design so let's go over to the machine and we'll get started okay step one is going to stitch out a placement line for the mylar and I'm stitching it out in black just so that it shows up better on the video but you 
can stitch it out in the same yellow that you're going to stitch the sunflower in. As long as you can see it, it'll work. Okay, we're going to take it over to the cutting table and put the mylar in place. Okay, I've cut a piece of mylar just big enough to fit over the placement stitching and I'm going to put four little pieces of tape on the corners to hold it in place. Some mylar might have a crease in the middle where it was folded. This one happened to come off of a roll, so it doesn't have that crease in it. But if yours has a crease in it, stretch it out as much as you can to get it flat. And then tape it in place. Now we're going to take it back to the machine. And step two is going to stitch. And that is simply going to be another line right over the top of this one to help hold that mylar in place. Uh, the tape right now is to keep it from flying away because um, it is very slippery and it flies away pretty quickly. So I always like to use tape when I'm messing with Mylar just to be on the safe side. So let's take it back to the machine. Okay, I've changed the thread to the yellow. That's going to be the same as the sunflower. And that's what I'm going to stitch the tack down stitch with. Step two. And that's just going to help hold it in place. Now we can stitch step three, which is the yellow part of the sunflower. That's going to take about six minutes to stitch, stitch out. And you'll notice while it's stitching that it's going to have a really light fill. So the thread is not going to be right up against each other. It's going to have just a tiny space in between. So you'll be able to see the mylar through the stitching. So let's go ahead and stitch step three. Okay, now we're going to move to the center 
um, and that's step four and it's going to stitch the brown center so let me change the thread and we'll be right back okay we're ready to stitch the brown center Now I'm going to change the thread to black, which is the last color to stitch out, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're ready to start the black, and you'll notice how nice and shiny that is through here. I'll try to catch it with some better light when we take the mylar, the excess mylar away in a little bit, but let's go ahead and stitch the black. It's all stitched out. Now we just have to take it over to the cutting table and remove the mylar. Okay, this is the easy part. You just pull the mylar away. As you can see, because of all the stitching, it really holds it in place. You can pull it all off. And if you have small pieces that were a little harder to get, just grab a tweezer and pull those away also. All right, looks like I have it all. Hopefully you can see how pretty and shiny that really is. It gives it such a nice glittery sheen. It's very pretty and like I said, washable, dryable. I even iron on top of it because I have it on several shirts, t-shirts that I've done it on and I wash them pretty often and I'm even able to iron on top of this mylar that is uh, sold for embroidery design. So there you go. All right, we're all finished with our little mylar sunflower embroidery design hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any other ideas for tutorials feel free to drop a comment below and we'll try to get to those we are going to do another one soon 
that shows you how to stitch out the ones that we actually use like an applique design but we add mylar to it also so look for that soon check out our other mylar designs at astitchintimedesigns.com and see you soon bye